वेलकम टू साक्षी पोस्ट वी आर हियर एट द वीग इन कैफे इन साइनिक पुरी इट्स कॉल्ड ई वोक लाइक वी डिड अ लॉट ऑफ सर्च ऑन गूगल फॉर वीग इन कैफे इज इन हैदराबाद बट देन वी फाउंड आउट दैट पीपल डिड गुड इन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन वीगनिज्म एंड वेजिटेरियनिज्म दे थॉट वेज बींग वेज वॉज ऑल अबाउट बींग वीगन सो हियर वी आर वी वी हैव एक्चुअली फाउंड आ वे टू द ट्रूली वीगन कैफे इन हैदराबाद वी आर एट ई वोक एंड वी आर हियर टू टॉक अबाउट इट um with the owner so the owner right i'm one of the partners okay he's one of the partners so uh, could you please introduce yourself hi uh, my name is ved and uh, i'm one of the partners of evo and uh, we started uh, operating from july last year and uh, yeah that's pretty much about it about myself and um, yeah so the main idea behind uh, starting and uh, starting evo as a play i mean starting evo was to basically one thing is to spread uh, you know uh, to spread some uh, knowledge about veganism to people and uh, in also to have a place where people can have access to uh, vegan products so that's why we have store we have the store in front yeah. where we have a, a large collection of you know vegan alternatives uh, to dairy like we have uh, plant based milks plant based cheese plant based butter and everything and then we have a cafe here where we have introduced uh, a lot of different uh, you know we have a, a, a fusion of cuisines uh, so that uh, the perception that people have about veganism in general that is vegan food is bland vegan food is all leaves uh, can be changed so that was uh, uh, the initial idea the initial concept behind uh, uh, initial thought behind starting evo so basically we wanted evo uh, to be a place where you know uh the e, uh, the name evoke stands for being environmentally woke right so uh that means to be woken uh the true essence so uh, to be kind, to spread the message of kindness towards uh, living beings and uh, in order to uh, if i have to first uh, you know start about uh, elaborating about veganism as such it all uh, stems from something called as uh, speciesism so like we have discrimination in the form of different different ways amongst human beings so there is something called as uh, speciesism where people you know differentiate between different species mm-hmm. so and we have made a clear distinction now humans have made distinction which uh, you know between comfort uh, between food animals and then comfort animals like uh, uh, animals such as dogs and cats are you know treated as pets whereas you know the uh, your poultry and your you know the goats and you know beef or, or the cattle are considered as food so this is something which is called speciesism where we discriminate from between life forms and uh, that is where veganism comes into play. Uh, that is i mean veganism is a thought which wants to eliminate speciesism that is discrimination between a living species and uh, also there are a lot of uh, i mean apart from the kindness and cruelty free uh uh cruelty free uh you know nature of veganism there's also a lot of other benefits uh one is by going vegan you 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 completely cut off i mean you cut off cholesterol in your diet so uh, that is there and then you know it is also good for the planet so uh, in order to uh, for meat and for dairy and also you have you see that a lot of forest lands is, are cut down and uh, uh and that uh, indirectly leads to climate change so by uh, going vegan you cut down on your carbon emissions and you're actually helping uh the planet become more green so it is good for the planet it's good for your health and it's also cruelty free so these are the three main uh you know benefits or the uh, advantages of going vegan and that is what we uh, aim to achieve that is spread more and more, more knowledge and you know and hopefully some day the whole world turns vegan <laughs> so yeah and uh, yeah so in order to do that right first thing is we wanted to uh, you know set up a place where uh, this is a place not just for vegans but for non vegans as well so we have a lot of crowd you can say you know uh, 50 i mean a lot of crowd is not uh, you, you know vegan is veganism is just a uh, movement that is uh slowly growing right yeah. so you don't find a lot of vegan crowd but they are slowly adapting to it so a majority of them are still non vegans and there are uh, a very a few um, a very i mean vegans are very less right 
so we wanted a place where you know non vegans can also come and enjoy it and you know uh, see what veganism is all about so that is the reason why we have like right in front of you there's a dish called nugget fagad yeah. so this is uh, something uh, th- this replicates the taste of chicken nuggets but it's not actually chicken nuggets this is plant based nuggets so you can if you uh, taste chicken nuggets you, you might have a bite and see what i'm talking about and you will feel that you know it is uh, it is 99 percent there or you will not feel like you know you're having something that is uh, plant based right. so we have a lot of mock meat options so what is this made of it is made out of soya soya yeah and uh, what is the substitute for this sauce this white dip that you have so this is uh, this is mustard dip it is made in house mm-hmm. and uh, yeah this is uh, uh, vegan as well completely vegan so we have vegan mayonnaise that goes into it and we have our own flavoring and we make that so what is a vegan mayonnaise made uh, of uh, vegan mayonnaise is again uh, it i mean it, it it again differs from you know the brand to brand so uh, basically it is i mean i'll have to check the ingredients once more about how it is made up but uh, all i can say is that you know vegan mayonnaise does not contain any milk solids so no dairy no dairy yeah no dairy and uh, most of the meat alternatives that you have are made out of soya or pea or uh, jack fruit in order to create that texture and the taste so yeah that is uh, that is there and so how do you think the nuggets taste it's good. like it's really good it's something different and something i've never tasted but because really things yeah, i can tell you that much yeah. you should try this soya nuggets yeah. i don't think you will miss out on chicken and uh, what about the coffee i have cappuccino with me so what is the dairy equivalent that you have put here so in the uh, in this coffee we have used oat milk okay uh, and uh, so if you have a taste of it it you can see that it is it tastes similar to the, your regular coffee yes. and so even if you replace a milk completely you will not miss out on the taste and you know you you, you can make your coffees and your teas just fine so it's uh, all i mean it is all about choosing alternatives so that you know uh, yeah yeah but mostly i've heard to see uh, the alternatives that you have to choose for vegan uh, I mean as vegan products mm. like mostly uh, you know they're all expensive that's what i've been told i mean Correct. veganism is very expensive is what they say Correct. when somebody says i want to turn vegan Correct. the first uh, thing that you hear is like uh, you know uh, i mean it's going to be a very yeah. expensive affair yeah. so how does one balance that how, how does one go about it? uh so i mean in order to turn vegan there are you know you can approach to two things so one is completely eliminate or look for substitutes so if you just avoid ghee butter and milk then you you're pretty much vegan the problem comes i mean the cost thing comes into play when you look for alternatives right and right now what's actually happening is that veganism it is at a nascent stage that is it is evolving and we are not at the scale that we want to be so as you know that the prices will come down once more people do it because uh, quite frankly you know the milk the dairy prices that are i mean that your i mean the current dairy prices at which you're, uh, you're buying a milk or whatever uh, it was not uh, something that was very cheap initially i mean it was a long shot after you know milk rev- after white revolution and all that after a lot i mean it is only after white revolution that you know we were able to cut down on the pricing and get it down to so and such a low price and i feel that you know once a lot of uh, companies uh, you know a, lo- a lot of people start turning vegan and a lot of big players come into picture uh, that you know we can drastically cut down on the pricing as what i mean uh, there are brands out there in india itself that you know brands like good milk that are actually uh, that are working to create uh, milk uh, i mean a vegan milk as affordable as possible so they have reached a price point of 140 rupees a liter which is very good and i feel that you know uh, in the next few years we are going to get down the uh, i mean the prices are going to come down even more and it's going to become more and more affordable hi yeah. hello this is the first time you're coming here yeah, yeah. this is the first time okay how did you hear about this place we saw it on instagram instagram and swiggy too okay so, yeah. so how are the reviews for the place it was really nice it was it, like it was vegan so we were very interested 
so we came right away to have for lunch okay have you tried vegan before no this is our first time and it's really good everyone should try Yummiest vegan restaurant ever. Like in uh, in Hyderabad, it's 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 a good place to have it here. Okay, you stay close by? Uh, yeah, kind of Chitra. like Suchita yeah. From Suchita, yeah. Okay. So what do you like about this place? Is it the menu or I mean when you when you've seen, you've gone to other restaurants, normal restaurants where you've seen the menu and all that, yeah. and you've you've seen the menu here. So do you think anything is missing or something that really caught your attention here? Yeah. Menu. Yeah, a lot of stuff because it's all first of all it's vegan, so it's it's a new dishes we have never tried before. Okay, so you've tried nachos elsewhere, and you're trying this with yeah, a different yeah. kind of mayonnaise. Yeah, it has. Sauce. Yeah. So how different is this? Does the sauce taste when sauce, compared to the actual? Sauce. Sauce is actually the same. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the there's, same. There's yeah, no difference. It's just the flavor that makes it different. Mm -hmm. But it's still appetizing, and you feel yeah, like it, it is. It is yeah. very yummy. Very. We can have it easily. It, there's no no much difference, but it's the same as veg and all. It's so you'd come back to uh, sure for yeah. sure. We want to try other dishes too. We will definitely. Yeah. Are you a vegan? No, we want to actually. You want to turn vegan? Yeah. Is there one reason why you want to turn vegan? It's just, just being about healthy. The planet and all. Yeah. Health and yeah. so when you did your research, uh, you know, to do this, who are your competitors? I mean, as such, I don't. In Hyderabad, who are the other vegan restaurants that you think would? I mean, as such, I don't think we have any. I mean, because you know, we uh, the thing is, I mean, uh, I mean, I think we stand apart from a lot of other places that are vegan. So each place has its very. I feel that you know, each place has its very own vibe and their own food. And right now, I think uh, everybody is uh, right now. You know, uh, vegan restaurants are not uh, basically competing with each other. We are all. I feel that we are all serving a cause. We are all doing our bit, and I feel that's how it is at this point. So I don't really think that uh, a restaurant is competing with uh, the other. So uh, Evoke especially is not competing with anybody. Yeah. So uh, when you actually started this off. Didn't you think that uh, you were restricting your uh, uh, restaurant to a particular? Uh, because as you mentioned yourself, uh, vegan is a very niche segment of the society right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody is a vegan. So, did, uh, of course, you have things that everybody can enjoy on your menu. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, not everybody knows about it. The moment you say vegan, they have this thing. Yeah. They may not want to eat a plant substitute or a animal, uh, you know, plant meat for that right. matter. So, uh, I mean, did, did you think that okay, this is this may not work because I'm actually restricting my uh, business to a particular segment of the society, no, which not, is very small. No, not really, not really. Because uh, the thing is, uh, when we when the word vegan here, right, has a, uh, it still has a lot of catching up to do in terms. Of, I mean, the masses need to be more educated about it. Like for example, uh, I have people who say, "Oh my God, I have never tasted vegan food," but which is very wrong. Because your fruits and your veggies are all classified as vegan. I mean, your uh, you know, if you have dal chawal as a staple diet in your home, that is vegan, right? Only thing is that if you had ghee in it, that that food becomes not it doesn't be, it becomes non-vegan. So it's basically the thing is here uh, not having any kind of animal uh, any kind of ingredients in your food that comes from animal sources is the main concept behind it. So we, when we started this place off, we never wanted to restrict ourselves only to a certain section of. Like I said, it's for we have a very like you know 40% or 60% 60 to 65 or even more are people who are non-vegans who come here and who enjoy our food, and they are uh, very visibly shocked when they say that oh I didn't know that this is vegan that is vegan and all. So yeah, so we have never you know restricted ourselves to a certain. Segment of the society. It is like it is a place that is open for all, and as you can see on the flag over there, it's Evo for all. It's for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So for yeah for anybody who has you know uh, yeah it's for people who are already vegan, people who are transitioning vegans, people who are non-vegans for everybody. So our end goal is to you know uh, spread the message out, spread the word out, and that that's pretty much the cause is what we are working for right now okay so i've heard of uh, vegetarian uh, halim but uh, vegan halim is something very very new so what goes into the vegan halim that you make here 
सो वी यूज अगेन मिन्स्ड सोया बेज मिन्स सोया बेज मीट एंड वी यूज ब्रोकन वीट एंड वी यूज वीगन की and we use uh, spices so that is majorly the um, the major majority of the ingredients that goes in and when uh, while serving it we top it off with caramelized onions and uh, uh, lime lime slice a sliced lime so yeah it, it's i mean the cooking process and all is simil very similar to how the traditional halim is made just that we replace the meat with mock meat and the ghee with vegan ghee so what is vegan ghee uh yeah uh, so the uh, vegan ghee is made out of basically vegetable fats and vegetable oils so it is uh, it, it there is a term used for it so uh, there is a there's a term uh, there is a manif- term used for it that is very traditional to manufacturing i'll just check and I'll let you know the yeah. exact i because it's a vegan. so uh, they make it out of that vegetable fats and vegetable oils and uh, it the ghee that we use in our halim tastes like uh, 100% close to, i mean 99% close to the traditional ghee yeah so what's been the response people have liked it oh they have loved it so recently there was a vegan market that we were part of and we did a ramadan special menu where we put the vegan halim we put vegan biryani and we put kaddu ka kheer so vegan halim uh, is part of a regular menu so that was there as a ramadan special and we had we made the vegan biryani with like uh, soya chap in it so uh, that was there and we made kaddu ka kheer with almond milk so yeah so the response has been great i mean uh, people uh, who have a lean they come back for more and they like yeah it's one of it's our best sellers uh, i would urge uh, people to, you know i would urge everybody who is like you know uh watching this or whatever so to turn vegan because uh, of all the health benefits i previously told and uh, if you need that push to go vegan then evoke is a place that you definitely need to stop by and uh, it, it's definitely a place that will blow your mind and it will so change your perception you actually, uh, yes so uh, we are a group of three friends who started it and we all turned vegan and uh, basically we saw a problem uh, that was there one thing is uh, accessibility to vegan products was very difficult and uh, we wanted a place where people can have easy access to uh, vegan alternatives like the milk uh, curd so we have a ve- uh, peanut curd we have cashew curd and uh, then we have vegan cheeses that sell in our store uh, butter and all that and uh, we also have a carefully curated list of international gourmet products as well that are vegan so we carefully curate them and we put them we make sure we check the ingredients and we make and we you know separate the vegan and non vegan products and we put only the products that are vegan in our store and we have a range of uh, international range of gourmet sauces uh, pastas spices seasonings uh and we also have organic cereals organic uh, uh, organic pulses organic grains uh millets everything uh, we have in the store available so it's a uh, uh basically the thing is for uh, uh as a vegan you know it was uh, uh, when I, uh, every time i went grocery shopping or uh, you know any place like uh, when i went for grocery shopping mainly so i had the habit of you know checking ingredients of each and every product that is on display so to the point where you know i had to even it, it became a habit such that you know even if i pick up a water bottle i need to just check the ingredients it became uh, that habit so we wanted a store to be a place where anybody i mean a vegan can come inside and pick any product and be uh, stress free or you know be carefree that you know this product is going to be vegan it's definitely going to be vegan without having to check the yeah without having to check the labels and the ingredients and what not He just wanted it to be like that. So cheese, cheese. Okay. Basically, cheese and uh, butter are associated with cholesterol and fat. Yes. So, uh, how much? Uh, what percentage of this has uh, uh, cholesterol or fat? I mean, when compared to the normal cheese or uh, zero, butter? zero. I mean, when you zero. go by going plant based, you're eliminating cholesterol. So it contains zero cholesterol. If you, you can just check uh, behind on the packaging as well, it says the same thing. 
it has certain amount of fat but cholesterol is zero uh we have uh, uh, the vegan substitute to uh, whey protein as well for all gym freaks who want to be vegan but also uh, i mean who want to hit the gym regularly also want to stay vegan we have uh, vegan alternatives to protein whey protein as well yeah and we did enjoy uh, the nuggets that you gave us and uh, my colleague thought it was really chicken <laughs> so it was nice thank you so much Thank you so much for covering your work and I really appreciate uh, uh whatever you're doing to you know spread the word about veganism and I think it's a great initiative and I think uh you know um, um, yeah, yeah yeah I think more newspapers should take you from this and you know start spreading the word about veganism yeah thank, thank you. you so much